been a couple minutes since we've done a vlog style video. We just got done having a delicious dinner at Fogo de Chao in Baltimore. Just wanna say a huge shout out to Raptor Mama. Thanks so much, Mom, for the gift card. It was absolutely delicious. All right, guys, we are headed into Fogo. Fancy me, you here. Welcome. Coco de Chao. So when you first walk in, guys, there is a beautiful bar here right in front. And then there is the dining room. And they have a beautiful Christmas tree. Steak, ribs, all of it. Too many choices. So good. So much meat, so little time. So much meat, so little time. So we're probably not gonna do a whole lot of filming in here. We do have a funny video that we put on Instagram Reels. I'm gonna slip right in here in the video. We're getting ready to head out somewhere here in Baltimore. We're not even sure what we're gonna get into today, but we thought it would be a fun impromptu video. And who knows guys, we always, get ourselves into something. So, just gonna have to stay tuned to see what we do today. You ready, Lise? Are you ready? I have my steak energy. So here's a little sneak peek of the buffet bar. Everything was so, so good. I especially love that they have fresh papayas. They have a lot of fresh fruits here. <laughs> Cheese. I have the maximum keto. Maximum keto, yeah, for sure. Um, except for maybe those rolls. Just one, maybe two. I lost count. Maybe 12. All right, guys, we're getting ready to head out. It's a nice day today. It's, I think it's like in the 50s. So, you know, for Maryland standards, this time of year, it's good weather. So we're gonna head out, see what we can get into. Let's go. So I'm super stoked right now. Lisa took me somewhere that was a surprise. Yes. Guess where we are. Take one guess. You might be able to see it because it's behind us. We are where? Edgar Allan Poe. Poe. Uh, yeah, I've never been here before. Lisa's been here previously. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out, show you around a little bit. Uh, and we might even, no. We're gonna definitely do a necrophonic session, guys. All right. Let's see if we can get Mr. Edgar Allan Poe to speak to us, yes. shall we? This, this is uh, some information right here, guys. Once Baltimore's most prestigious cemetery, oh. Westminster Burying Ground was the final resting place for many prominent Baltimoreans, including some 25 from the War of 1812. Notable burials include General Samuel Smith, commander of American forces in Baltimore, General John Stricker. Stricker. I lived on his street, I think. Yeah. Stricker Street, when I went to school. American commander at North Point and John Stuart Skinner, U.S. prisoner exchange agent. David Poe Sr., who served as, who served at the Battle of North Point, is also buried here. He was the grandfather of writer Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, okay. that makes sense. Well, this is exciting. I'm excited. Lise, it appears that someone has either escaped or is attempting to escape oh their gosh. final resting place. <gasps> okay, this is giving me creepsters. I'm just afraid that- Whoa, there is a hole. We're gonna see what's in there, guys. That is really creepy. It's deep, isn't it? It looks like it. <gasps> Why would that be open? Oh. <laughs> oh. This is crazy. I didn't realize it went so far underground. Like, what's behind here? It's like a little rooftop or something? Yeah, look at this. This is what it looks like. Okay, that's... This is wild. These Isn't are like... There's bodies in there. I guess there's bodies in there. Right? Why would they have a name here? I'm trying to... I can't see real well. My good one's in the car. I mean... Oh, I know, right? I'm just waiting for this arm to grab <gasps> me. Oh, and look at this. These are above ground like this concrete. This so reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. 
It does. Doesn't it? Yeah. Those little ones. Let's walk back here a little bit. Let's walk back here a little bit. So you've been here before, right? Yeah, one time ago when I was in middle school, actually, they have they used to have a Halloween tradition. You could come, and we wore costumes. So, so what what did you do? They gave you a tour, and I'm pretty sure you've got to go underneath. I, I'm thinking this is where the catacombs were, and you got to go in there as well. Oh wow! Well, we got to do that. It was a Halloween. I don't know if they still do it. That would be awesome. Look how this sticks out here. I'm course. guessing the brick is newer. Uh, this is loose. No, this brick. Oh, the this where brick? we're walking. And then they have this drain going on here. Wow. What? Okay, this is some Sweeney Todd stuff. Though. This is definitely Sweeney Todd stuff. <laughs> Look at this. I gotta say, though, these are really nice. What's this? Even for back then. It's what is this? Throwing grass on your... Wait. Okay. What is this? Okay, what? Wow, this is weird. I knew you'd like it. I do like it. This is our super date cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Jen's more excited about this. Like, I don't know, almost excited as Disney World about this. Okay, this wow. is her. This is my paranormal Disney paranormal experience. paranormal vibe. Okay, so these what are both heck? giant graves. Like, yes. what, what do you call them? These are like, sort of like mausoleums. Mm. Or I guess you'd call it like a vault. Vaults. Maybe they're called vaults, I don't know. Yeah. So we're going to come back around to Edgar Allan Poe in just a couple of minutes, guys. We're going to do a spirit box session with the Necrophonic and see if perhaps he wants to talk to us. Just saying, if somebody like Edgar Allan Poe, who is an icon of the literary world of the world, could in his time be placed in a place where nobody really cared. Yeah, That's so sad. it is sad. And they didn't value artists as much back then. No, I don't think so. You know, gamut. It didn't. You know, it didn't matter. Right. Like they just didn't put a value on entertainment. Correct. Right. Wow. Look at this one. This one's really old. I need to read that. Uh uh. Look at these stones. They're just worn completely off. Yeah. Like you don't even know who's there. Some more vaults back here, all the way around. This is awesome. Look at this. Crazy. What's back here? What's this? This like goes down to the catacombs. Oh. See up here, there's some little arches. Maybe you can see. You can actually see it from the outside. Uh, I think there's some kind of door. I mean, since we're on the Disney kick, this kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean right yeah. here a little bit. Right? When you're this in the dungeon, you. when you're in the dungeon, this is what it feels like. like what's, what's this? Don't sit on there. Wait, here we go. Believe it or not. Okay, here we go. Raised slabs mark oh. a number of grave sites at Westminster, but none has garnered as much attention as this one. Once the subject of a Ripley's Believe It or Not. Okay, Whoa. I love Ripley's Believe It or Not. This gravity-defying piece of marble continues to fascinate. This slab was originally part of a lot belonging to William Matthews, a merchant and Revolutionary War veteran. Wow. Okay. So it's doing this on its own, they're saying? I guess so. I kind of want to touch it. Let me touch okay, it. Okay, touch it. Let me get back here. Let I'm going to touch switch. it where it's broken. Let me go. I got to get rid of it. I kind of want to touch it, guys. I kind of want to touch it. Wouldn't it be terrible if I was the one that broke it? I promise Don't you. Do it. <laughs> Is it. It has to be. Yeah, it has supports now. It has oh. rebar. I was like, okay, somebody actually probably did break it at some point. Wow, that's super cool. This is like an adventure in great cemetery. Look at Lisa, guys. She's doing so well. She is navigating her way through this crazy brick path. Look at this. This place is awesome, man. Like, we've talked about coming here before because Lisa's like, you'd love it here. You know, you'd love it at uh, the Edgar Allan Poe Cemetery. And I'm like, yeah, I would like to visit one day, but who knew it was going to be today? I am so stoked to be here. This is exciting. Like, I'm more excited than I thought I would be. I'm kind of over cemeteries in general, but every once in a while, you come across one that's just fascinating and absolutely out of the ordinary, which this place 100% is. So we're going to continue to show you guys around. This is fascinating. You have to visit this place if you are ever in or near Baltimore City. 
highly recommend it. It's just, it's got a really cool vibe here. Come this way. Don't freak out. You're gonna freak out. What is this? Oh, I can't believe this is here. This is crazy. This is what I was saying. This is so crazy. I, I really didn't know this was here. Oh, you guys wanna see what we're seeing? <laughs> Hold on. Look at this. We're gonna go right up to it. Look at this. This is the final resting place initially of Edgar Allan Poe. This was his first grave. This is awesome. And they even have a little rose sitting up here on his grave. But my favorite part, you guessed it, the raven at the top of the headstone. That is cool. All right, guys, so Lisa decided this would be the best place to do our first necrophonic session. We'll probably do one here and we'll probably do one at the front at yeah. his new resting place. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see if he wants to talk to us. Edgar Allan Poe, are you here? M. M. B. Did you prefer this resting place to the one in the front? Did I hear in the back? I heard back. Did you like this one because it was a little more secluded and private? Edgar Allan Poe, what did you die from? This is pretty. What kind of tree is this? Uh, that bark is cool. Isn't that wild? Okay, here is a uh, Samuel Smith, a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army in the American Revolution. Wow, that is a huge grave. Local hero, national leader. Sam Smith is the most important public figure buried at Westminster. I guess this is called Church of Westminster. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. He spent 40 years as a U.S. congressman and a senator. Wow, that's crazy. I kind of want to talk to that whoever was in that grave where the doors busted open. Oh, yeah. What's going on there? That's a picture. I don't know, right? I didn't even know there was graves in here. Why is this one in a gate? And look at this dirt pile. What is that? <laughs> okay. What is this? There's a lot of bodies in here. You think so? No, it looks like it. So we're wondering right now if this might be a mass grave. Maybe. No, actually, this is where he is. This oh. is where the. Why would it be like that? I don't know. That's weird. I thought it would be a building. Right. Huh. James McHenry, I did not know he was here. He's the one that they have the fort here in Baltimore named after, Fort McHenry. He was a doctor? What? First military surgeon. How about that? That is pretty cool. We'll have to take you guys. Let us know in the comments if you want us to take you to Fort McHenry. Looks like this. And it's pretty cool. It's right on the water. I have a feeling there are probably plenty of restless spirits there. Can I ask him? Yeah, let's talk to... He's right here. Let's talk to Dr. McHenry real quick. Dr. McHenry, are you here with us? I heard something. Mm -hmm. Can you fort. say hello? I think he said fort. I think you're right. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is there anything that you would like to say to us? <laughs> Did he sneeze? <laughs> Are you trying to give us a message about COVID? Yeah. <gasps> Will it be over soon? Yeah. I think he said yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's good news. I'm glad to hear that. He was a doctor. He was a doctor. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate it and we will definitely come visit you at your fort very soon. So right now, Lise, we are headed back up to the front of the cemetery where Mr. Edgar Allan Poe is currently buried for his truly final resting place. 
I don't know, Lise. You think he's gonna talk to us? Sure, I don't know why not. There's only one way to find out. So right over here, guys, that's that table that we saw that's pretty much cracked in half. And they said that back then those were grade markers, but I hadn't noticed this until just now. There's another one right here. This might be where you go into the catacombs. I think it is. Okay. Which we're not gonna do today, but we may come back very soon, possibly with a friend or two. Look at this. So this one's cracked in the middle too, but it's not as bad as the other one. What do you think? Do you think maybe we should talk to whoever has tried to escape their final resting place? Let's try there. Well, let's check that out. something to say. We're gonna go back through the the drain here. <laughs> we gotta hold on to the wall. Yeah, I wonder what that's for. Oh. Careful. <laughs> I'm I feel like we need to form a human train here to get through. Choo choo. Where's that coming from? I don't know. It's weird. It's coming out of the catacombs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Do you think they used to do the embalming down there? Maybe. <laughs> Who even knows? So, we are back to this mysterious grave here that looks like it's either inviting you in or letting you know that somebody just made their great escape. Quick question. Is that door open wider than it was when we were here? Have you tried to escape your grave? <laughs> Yeah. Were you successful in escaping your grave? Do you like Baltimore? It's all right. It's all right. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's all right. Wow. I kind of agree with you. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I if like you're just that. going to Fogo to Chow and a couple attractions, it's cool. So we're back at Edgar Allan Poe's grave. How are you feeling right now, Lise? I don't know. It always intrigued me. I love it. I think we should go ahead and fire up the spirit box and see what he wants to say to us. Let's go. Ready? Edgar, can you talk to us today? <laughs> That was my answer. That was my answer? Uh, what? Are you happy in this loud place? If you could, would you choose to move somewhere out of the city for peace and quiet? I'm hearing some answers, but there's so much background noise, guys. We're gonna have to wait until we get back home so I can check what the answers are. What animal are you most often associated with? It's the same name as our football team. Can you say it for us? It's like music. Yeah. Maybe walk around this side. Right. Down the street. Yeah. Poe died here on October 7th, 1849, meaning Washington College Hospital. He died several days after being found unconscious on East Lombard Street, which is right out here. Huh. Why did it take several days? How did they know he laid there for several days? I don't know. But they do believe it had to do with alcohol, right? And I think it was, when was that? October, which it could have been cold. I, I was thinking maybe the, the temperatures as well were. What year was it? Uh, 1849. Yeah. Oh, look at that car though. Okay, let's just look at that car. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That is really cool. That's like a galaxy wrap on that Tesla. Okay, sorry. And here is a place we need to visit as well. Maybe we'll drive by. It's, this is where he lived. What's the name of the street? His last Baltimore residence was 203, get this, Amity Street. Wow. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's Poe House. Yep. That's Poe House. It was saved from demolition in the 30s. They were going to demolish it. Okay, wow. here's his beloved. You're right. Okay. 
Poe married his beloved Virginia, the daughter of Maria Clemp, and his first cousin. What? When he was, when she Ew. was, she was 13. Oh. Okay, but it was a long time ago. And you have to remember, people only lived to be like 25, 30 back then. I mean, she died of t tuberculosis when she was only 24. Yeah. So, she only lived 10 years after he married her. That's sad. All right, so I think I'm going to just show you guys the front of the church real quick. And then we might go drive by the Poe House, which we don't have time to go to today. But I think if you guys want, leave us a message in the comments. Maybe we'll come back another day and we'll go check out the Edgar Allan Poe House. Sounds like a lot of fun. We actually were gonna do it not too long ago and we just kind of got busy and you know, life happened. So we were just living life. Uh, <laughs> but we are gonna make a point to go check it out. If you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Leave us a comment. Let us know what else you wanna see us do and share it out. If you're enjoying the content, please be sure to share it out. But most importantly, smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Right. Let me walk up here. You can stay here if you want. Okay. I'm making my way up to the front of the church. This thing is amazing. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Look at this. Straight up, like, right out of Disney's Haunted Mansion. Even down to the bricks. Wow, there's even graves over here in this pit area. We're gonna go check that out in just a second. Wow. All right, Jen's gonna go back to the back it's starting to rain making an instagram reel and a short right. so be sure to check those out guys in the meantime i found something very interesting at edgar's burial spot in the back so a couple things one found some pennies which people do leave on graves but what's really weird is look what i found earlier downtown where we were eating at fogo de chow a penny it was on the sidewalk so i'm going to place it here and see if on the necrophonic if he says anything. The other interesting item is what? A black bird feather. And there's another feather. I don't even know what that is, what kind of feather. But that was, I thought that was very interesting that that would be on the author of the Raven's Grave. So let's put this, I'm gonna put this one separate over here. Do you like the pennies? And do you like the black feather? Can you say the name of your poem about the black feather? <gasps> what? Okay, that was very cool. You just never know, like, how they respond. Thank you. 